Morning guys, Martin here from Sunnydale Survival Bushcraft and Foraging. Quick video today on this plant, which is stitchwort. It's a fantastic edible and medicinal plant. All parts of the plant are edible. That includes the leaves, the flowers and the stems. And it has a lovely lettuce type neutral taste to it. It is important to point out that there's two types of stitchwort. There's lesser stitchwort and greater stitchwort. In simple terms though, both plants are identical. One is just smaller than the other. So how do you go about identifying this plant? Well, it's quite easy really. Um, it's got five white petals. And I know you're probably looking at the screen and going, it's got 10 petals. Well, it hasn't. It's got five. Each one of those five petals is deeply notched, which makes it look like two. So have a look closely at that first identifying feature. The next identifying feature is the stem, which is a single stem and it's quite brittle and breaks quite easily. Um, the leaves on that stem are opposite each other and look like little blades of grass. They're quite long, thin and pointed. Stitchwort's very high in vitamins and minerals. It contains vitamin A, B12, C and D. It's also got iron, potassium, calcium, silica and zinc in it. And it's very high in those properties. So in the past, stitchwort was used basically uh, to treat people with stitches, hence the name stitchwort. It was also said in the past in folklore that if you pick stitchwort, there would be a lightning storm. I also found another bit of folklore which said that the plant belonged to the pixies and if you pick stitchwort it would anger them and they would use their magic to get a nadder to bite you. Don't know if that's true or not. We'll see if there's a lightning storm or if I get bitten by a nadder later today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you can now identify stitchwort and have a good day. Thank you for watching.